Are we live? Is this working? What's up? Can you guys hear me? What's popping? That's enough of that. How you guys doing? Welcome. I should probably put on another light or something. Another light source. Or lighting. No. Better lighting. Something like that. How you guys doing? Welcome. Hope you're doing good tonight. I wanted to switch it up and talk about a different story. Um take our mind off all the missing persons just do something different boston nicole jason what's up solomon evelyn anon anon lexa jen have you guys ever heard of this guy it's called gypsy crusader it's my first time hearing about him recently hey katrina the reason i heard about this guy is because he was arrested uh, in fort lauderdale recently it's like oh snap the fbi i guess raided his house What's the FBI? Yeah, FBI agents. He said, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. His name is Paul Miller, and he he went by the online name Gypsy Crusader. I had never heard of this guy. Apparently, this guy was like popular online. Um, he became popular because of his uh, videos, I guess, on Omegle. I believe he recently got popular. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, yeah. November 2020, multiple viral clips of Gypsy Crusader were posted on iFunny and Twitter. Uh, this guy is racist, and I don't know whatever other titles you want to add. They say neo Nazi. I don't even know what neo Nazi means, but. And supposedly. He tells his story, which I'm going to play for you. There's a couple of clips that I pulled up. He tells his story, supposedly what happened, why he became extreme, uh, an extremist, what do they call it? An extremist, a radicalist or whatever the hell it's called. Um, and I want to start with this one, this clip. This is from Dan the Oracle a couple of minutes in. He gives a little bit of a breakdown. Let's see here. Welcome, welcome. Paul Miller, Gypsy Crusader, is a man who has lost it all and more and has completely become desensitized to hateful nature and lost all morals due to the personal tragedies that fell into his life. He was a man who was twisted and molded into an embodiment of pure hatred, thus creating his new persona of the Joker. Paul Miller is someone who has obviously come to terms of doing things subjectively wrong in society. He takes many influence from his doings in his personal community from the movie Fight Club after naming his raid Project Mayhem, which is a project in the movie Fight Club where they plan to blow up multiple credit card companies and cause mass-wide disturbances around the city by destroying beloved locations. In the end, Gypsy Crusader, as he puts it himself, was a normal man who was pushed too far and molded into who he is today. I have to tell you something. Oh, by the way, 
let me give a little disclaimer too before we get into the rabbit hole of this whatever this is crystal thank you for the super chat appreciate it thanks for keeping us informed you know what why i thought this was kind of interesting too it's just because i always wonder how people get to this extreme like how, how do they get to this far of things getting crazy because they say too he, he was like wanting civil war and um he drops the n-bomb all the time and all kinds of stuff he anti-semitic and all that um so yeah the warning is it's i i selected most of the videos they're like the words are censored out but something might slip through i don't know so if you you know if you don't want to maybe you want to put it on your headphones or if you have kids around but for the most part i checked most of it i believe and so there shouldn't be hopefully any of this stuff that's all right your hands are around my neck no do it i can't live in this world anymore <laughs> because there's too many. Oh my god! I... Oh my god! She really scared me for a second. There's too many. Oh, are you? You're a Jew? Yep. Then never mind. I will shoot you, you fucking bitch. What? And uh, my message is, I just have lost my mind. Lord. Oh Lord. Yeah. What is happening? Just think that if I don't do something about these fucking. Oh my god! I'm gonna lose my fucking mind! If they hurt me, if they do something to me, if I'm walking down the street and someone recognizes me, someone puts a bullet in the back of my head, then so fucking be it, guys. Then that's my fate. That's my hey. fate. We're not bigger than God. <laughs> Sparrow said he watched that movie and lost his mind. Sacrifice for something, you know what I mean? I'm old. I'm getting old. So I I believe his lawyers too are trying to like use a defense that like, oh, this is all an act kind of thing. Now, this is my first time hearing of this guy, but from the vibe that I get from people online is that this isn't an act. You know, maybe he's passing it off as a joke, but it's not. Um, let me do this. Let me play this news clip, and then I'll take you back to a video where he claims this is what caused him to spiral. And I kind of want you guys can post in the chat too. Like, is somebody? I mean, is somebody born with this? Is it a, just a product of their environment? I mean, it was his parents or people around that just become radicalized. And when we get to his story, do you believe his story? Or do you think it's a croc, a load of croc? He has makeup on in his mugshot. The man taken into custody by a... And this was recently, this was 3, March 3rd, 2021. That's why I caught notice. I was like, who's this guy? He actually came from New Jersey. He had just recently moved from New Jersey in February, and he came to Florida. The interesting thing, too, about what they got him for, it had nothing to do to my knowledge, with all the racist stuff online or the um, all the Civil War stuff he was calling for, it was for a gun charge. <clears throat> uh, I believe it was for a gun charge. I'll find it, though. Let me play this clip first. Federal Task Force Fighting Terrorism Tuesday appeared before a federal judge today, and prosecutors don't want him released. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Nesprall. And I'm Jawan Schrader. Good evening. And of course, this is a story we will continue to follow. Federal agents Warren Miller's residence in Fort Lauderdale when arresting him, and he spoke out in court today. NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard is live at the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with what happened there today. Willard? Monarch programming. Good afternoon to you, Jackie. Well, here from the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, this man appeared over Zoom. Technically, he's charged. Uh, he was a felon that uh, the federal authorities say he had a weapon and that <laughs> he should not have had that weapon. That was back in 2018. Yeah, so that <clears throat> they got him from a weapon thing. Like, he was a convicted felon or something, but he wasn't supposed to have a weapon. And they got him from something in 2018 now. I'm thinking the FBI is just using this as a means to get him off or, like, to bring him in. 
Um, so really going on behind the scenes, they're saying they don't want him released, and we could find out more in the next several days as to what the federal government really believes this man may have been up to. <laughs> Here's Paul Miller this afternoon when federal marshals brought him back to the Broward County Jail. He was held here overnight. Then, this morning, Miller appeared on a Zoom link with a federal magistrate, prosecutors, and federal public defender. He told the judge, <laughs> quote, I'm very sorry about this. I really am. This is what it looked like Tuesday outside his residence. This video was taken by a neighbor. Yeah. A large number of federal agents and Fort Lauderdale police were out front. Right. The Miller was led away. The whole street was blocked off yeah. with vehicles, like undercover vehicles. The right police the were in the, the street. Way. On Twitter, the Anti-Defamation League said its center on extremism identified Paul Miller as a volatile white supremacist accelerationist. And we're going to get into this. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what an, an accelerationist is. Maybe in the chat, you guys know. Jason, thank you for the super chat. I would. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. It'd get me canceled. <laughs> Coe tracked him to Fort Lauderdale and shared significant intelligence with federal law enforcement before today's arrest. NBC News reported Joker, that these images of Miller appeared on social media in posts that appeared to show his support of right-wing extremist groups, including the Proud Boys. The alleged weapons violation Miller is facing normally allows the person charged to post. I think he kind of pulled, he can kind of pull off like a joker though. I don't know. I thought his face was kind of oddly clean or something, like just too clean. I don't know, I thought it was kind of weird. Like his eyebrows are like freshly done. He probably has to maintain his hair too. Like a lot of, I don't know, conditioner. They condition their hair to keep it like that. ...to bond and leave jail, but not this time. The federal prosecutor Wednesday indicated <coughs> they wanted Miller held until he goes off to trial and that they were ready on the spot to present more on why he was a flight <laughs> risk or danger to the public. That may provide details on his potential connection to the extremist groups. That siege was criminal behavior the FBI director told Congress yesterday that stopping white supremacist groups is a top priority and agents are looking under every rock to see their involvement with the Capitol riot. Mr. Miller will be back before the federal magistrate and before the court on Friday. That's when we should get some real details about why the federal prosecutors really don't want him out on the street. He's presumed innocent on these charges. They asked him, they said, hey, can you afford a lawyer? He said, yes. He brought up a very familiar name, Mark O'Mara. If that Who's registers that? with you, Mark he was O'Mara? George Zimmerman's lawyer. Oh. I called Mr. O'Mara this afternoon, also sent him a text. Haven't heard back from him yet. We're live at the federal courthouse mm. in Fort Lauderdale. Willard Shepard, NBC Six News. Okay, all right. So that so he was arrested recently. Uh, I'm not even going to play. We don't need to play this. We already know about the gun charge and stuff. And the FBI. Oh, this is a little interesting history too, real quick. According to New Jersey criminal records, he was arrested in 2006 at the age of 18 and charged with aggravated assault. He pled guilty and was not sentenced to prison time. Details about the case were not available. In 2007, he was charged with a po with possession of drugs and intent to sell. And he spent 180 days in prison and four years of probation. Um, so. OK, we did that. I want it. I want you guys to hear his story. And uh, and you tell me what you think. <clears throat> and honestly, Spyro on this channel, we really don't do that. We don't call everybody. I know I've never seen you before, so maybe you think it's like that. But this guy clearly fits that. You know, you, you can't uh, say this guy's not. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, let's hear his story, and then after that, we're gonna hear some. We're gonna see some videos of him interacting with how he's online. With some of the clips that made him, I guess, go viral. Um. And he was like a journalist too, supposedly. He claimed he was like a journalist. So we're gonna watch one of his journalistic videos where it was kind of interesting because he what the, what's the lady's name? Maxine Jiswell or Jiswell, whatever her name is, Giselle. Um 
he actually confronted her. He used to do like these weird, these different things before they say he went crazy. So let's hear his story first. Oh, speaking of which, all right. So look, I'm gonna give my story real quick. So I know a lot of people they've been asking me for my story. So I'm gonna tell you guys my story real quick, okay? Why I'm like this? What happened, okay? Because a lot of people keep asking me. He's crazy. Watch, and the so latest smears you. racism. Huh? Okay. So I was just a. Re- I'm gonna start. Um, it's kind of long. I'll try to keep it as short <laughs> as I can. Okay. Because I, I don't want to bore you. Well, it's not boring, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. So, anyway. so I was just a regular. I just wanted to be a regular independent journalist. Okay. And how it started. How the radicalization started. Okay. So he's talking about here. This is his story from his account of how he became radical was I went to a, um, a, a Gavin McGinnis event in New York City at the Met Republican pl- uh, Club in New York, okay? So I went there to just cover the the, the, <laughs> Put what's it called? For, the for show this. and to hang out with some friends and all this other stuff. I went there, okay? So when I got to the event, we couldn't get in. They had sold out of tickets, whatever. I had got into an argument and a fight with some leader or a general, whatever the fuck, shot caller, whatever you want to fuck you want to call him. I have a picture of it, too, uh, uh, of Antifa. Okay? I fought with him because I was taking – I was a journalist. I'm a journalist. Okay? I'm taking video of the crowd because Antifa's outside the Met Republican Club, and they're going crazy. They're busting shit. They're chanting crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And that was like my first time seeing antifa up close really so i'm taking video of it and as i'm taking video of the guy that i started to fight with walks up behind me and he's like and he's like watch where you're going or some shit like that and i turned to him and i put the camera on him and he knocked the camera out of my hand my my phone when he did that i fucking elbowed him across the face i'm not joking because i'm whatever i started to fight with him right so uh then the cops came they broke us up Okay, the cops didn't see me hit him, so they didn't know who hit who. Me and him are arguing back and forth across the street, whatever, right? So then we can't get, I can't get into the event, so I decided to like get ready to go home. Okay, so as I'm getting ready to go home, me and a friend, she was actually a Jewish girl because I was friendly with the Jews at the time, and she's still a good friend. She's she's not a bad girl, but anyway. There's no secrets. He's open with all this shit. There's no secrets about this. I don't know that guy. I kicked the other guy, Spyro, because it was kind of a distraction. But it, it, there's not a question of like if he's racist or whatever. Uh, so uh, we're walking, and as we're walking down the street, right to go to go home, I see the guy who I fought with and five Antifa members start walking towards us. Now I, they see me, so I already know what they're gonna do. They, I know they're gonna jump us. I already know. <clears throat> so when I see them coming, I took my phone. I gave it to my friend. I said, listen, you got to run because these are these guys are going to try to kill us. As Definitely. soon as that happened, they surrounded us. And then five more of them came. So it's like 10 people versus me and this uh, and this girl. Okay. I start to fight with them. They wanted to grab her. I blocked their I blocked the way for her and I told her just run and she took off running. Okay. I swear to God, every word of this is true. I ha- I was on the news for it. I'll I'll pull it up if you want. I can find it someplace. I'll pull it up. So uh anyways, so this is how the radicalization started. Now I'm fighting with Antifa in New York City. Like five, six, ten of them. As I'm fighting with them, thank God. Two guys from the Met Republican Club, one guy was named Jake, and the other guy was named Gavin Wax. <laughs> he actually does a podcast sometimes. And uh, they helped me fight with Antifa because I was fighting with them, and I'm, like, getting them off me and all this other shit. They helped me fight with them. So that's that's that story. I, long story short. So then after that, what happened? Uh, oh, so after that happened, then the doxing started. Okay, that's when the doxing started. After that happened, after I had the run in with them. Oh, not to mention, not to mention, I when I was fighting with them, I forgot to tell you this. When I'm fighting with them, I had fought with them so long that my friend who was with me, she ran away and she went and she got the cops 
She brought the cops back with her. And I'm still fighting with them, me and the other two guys. The cops came in. They arrested Antifa. Okay, they arrested like three of them. The district attorney did everything that he could to basically uh, give them no charges. I came in. I gave them statements. I had four witnesses give them statements. The two guys that was fighting with them, a taxi cab driver that saw the whole fight. Okay. So... I gave them all the evidence that I could to the district attorney. Everything for them to arrest these guys and put them away. The district attorney let them go. They said that I didn't give them enough information for them to press charges on them. It was insane. I gave them video. I gave them uh, 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 pictures. I gave them witness statements. I gave them everything. Everything that they needed. <laughs> I went to the district attorney's office in New York City. I gave them everything. Okay? They let them go. Okay, fine. Whatever the fuck. Then the doxing starts. Okay? So they start to dox me. Uh, I get Korans sent to my house. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny that they, they were sending Korans to the house. I was like, oh, shit. Real quick, because he was speaking on that night or whatever in 2018 where there was a fight between the Proud Boys and Antifa. He claims he wasn't a part of Proud Boys, but there was like some sort of fight or something. Well, the Proud Boys helped him or something like that. Yeah, 2018 online history. So there was a Twitter video that was posted because um, that night, you know, that whole fight situation happened. Let me just play this real quick. I I did smash some dude out there. <laughs> it was a it was pretty. It, I didn't want to fight with the guy. He just got in my face, so kind of pushed him away. And uh, it was a uh, it was absolutely insane. It was a good time. And uh, my God, it was a uh, it was crazy, but a lot of fun. I, so, I did smash some dude out there. <laughs> that was a clip from that night. I don't have the full video. I just got that from knowyourmeme.com. So me let him continue to tell the story. But I guess they started sending him Korans to, his, to, to my apartment. Tell me to my house. I was living with my family at the time. And uh Pumpkin, what's it called? Oh, I was working at a gas station. For a little, like, a while after it happened, I was working at a gas station, and I was doing my personal training stuff, right? They called the gas station, and they wanted the gas station to fire me. They said I'm a Nazi and all this other shit, blah, 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 right? They found out where I worked. Later on, I did get fired, okay, because they kept calling, and then there was, like, some incident at the, at the gas station where a Muslim, like, started to fuck with me, and I, like, started to record him, and I posted it. And then they called me a racist. So there was that. And then I got fired from that job. Okay. So now fast forward. Like maybe about a year or so. Uh, what else happened? There's been so much shit that's happened. I can't even remember it all. I can't even fucking remember it all. So the doxing happened. Right? All that shit happened. Then. Oh, okay. So then the Black Lives Matter thing. Here, let me show you this. So then Black Lives Matter comes. This is it. Look at this. Black Lives Matter comes to my house. That's my mom's house. That's me. They wrote a whole article about it. It's on my Damn. fucking telegram. They come now. Now, before they came to my mom's house. OK, the only thing that I said was I said Black Lives Matter does not have a right to protest because they're fucking communists. OK, and. They're trying to destroy the country by uh, hiding behind the First Amendment. That's basically what I said in the video. In a video on, on Instagram. And because I did that, it went viral. Whatever. They got a hold of it. And Antifa had my information already. So they gave my information to Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter finds my mom's store because, as you see, it's a business. Okay? Now, before they even go to my mom's house... They're calling my mother on her phone, on her business line, saying they're going to burn her house down. They're going to kill her. She's a racist white bitch. All this shit. 
Okay? All of this shit. Then finally they go to the house. And I never support doxing either way or whoever, whatever side. Yeah, I don't think it's ever a good thing. They go to the house. They start screaming at my mom, say Black Lives Matter. My mom was like, I'm not going to say Black Lives Matter because all lives matter. Oh, shit. No, and you I'm did a it. I'm spiritualist and I believe that all lives matter because I believe in Jesus. This He's is what my mother said too. to these fucking, to this, to this mob of nigger zombies outside my mother and father's house. Sorry, I didn't know he was going to. My father drop wasn't it. home, thank yeah, God. Man. Probably man would have had a fucking heart attack. My mother was like scared out of her mind. My brother was home with his son. All right. Oh, so then after that happened, I forgot about this. Excuse me, because then this is the end of it. Okay, I'm sorry. So they did that to my mom. I'm angry now. I'm infuriated. I want to kill somebody. Okay, that's how angry I am. I can't do anything. Okay, because I, I couldn't do anything. Right. So then after that happens. My trainer, who trained me to fight for my entire career almost, for seven fucking years, calls me up and tells me, Paul, you're a little, your, your views are too extreme. Uh, you've been way too out there lately. Uh, we can't have you at the gym anymore. Now, this is the, like the coronavirus, so all the gyms are closed. So he goes, when the gyms open up again, we don't want you back. Um, Damn! I shut out from the gym. What's it called? We don't want you back, and uh, you're just uh, don't take it personal. Blah blah blah. <laughs> now I don't yeah. hate my trainer. I'm not mad at him because they they harassed the man, and he didn't know what to do because he's not politically savvy. He doesn't know what's going on, and he's telling you cannot come back to the gym anymore. So after that happened. I couldn't coach anymore. I lost all of my personal training clients because I had nowhere to coach them anymore. My name was like total shit now in the, in the fight community, right? So after all of that, after all of that, then I started to do this. Okay? So who should have stood up for me? Who should have stood up for me? There was no one to stand up for me. <laughs> Who was going to stand up for me? There was no one too. There was just me. It was just me by myself. What was I going to do? My family was all alone. My mom is old. My parent, my dad is old. What the fuck are they going to do? I get some mob of zombies. What are they going to do? Oh, you think that my trainer should have stood up for me, you mean? You mean my trainer? He doesn't. He didn't get it. He didn't understand. It's lagging so hard. Are you serious? I don't know what he's wearing. lagging? He has a joker in the background. So. So after all of that. Okay, fine. That's the guy was just being an asshole and trying to make me shut up. So after all of that, that is why I became so fucking radical. That is why I want these fucking niggers and these fucking Jews and these fucking communists to face the fucking wall. I'm done with them. I don't want to talk anymore. There's no more debate. All right? There's no more bullshit. Yeah, let's talk it out. Yeah, let's give them some rights. Fuck them. So this is his story of him claiming this is how he became radical. This one has some M bombs and the other stuff too. Sorry about that, but I did give a little disclaimer at the beginning. I know there's people that are just drawing out. This is the guy that just got arrested in Fort Lauderdale. And he has this whole Joker character. Because I was like, who the hell is this guy? Because we're gonna see, I'm gonna show you some of the crazy videos on Omegle, some of the stuff that went viral. Those Omegle videos are actually censored. This one is not. Um, and the thing is, too, on Omegle, what I thought was uh, just kind of interesting is that there's a lot of kids. So he's talking to a lot of kids in these videos. And there's some videos where it's like he's showing compassion 
and there's other videos that he's not. It's like, is this real compassion or is this just trying to try to show another side? You know, I, I don't know. But he's there's a lot of kids. And then I, I, I'm looking at these kids. I'm like, what are these kids doing on there? Like some videos that are being kind of recent. And the kids are like, oh, I'm just at home. I'm just at home. Yeah, I'm just, I got nothing. So I'm like, why are these kids on here? Fuck these niggers. Fuck these Jews. Yeah, we're VP in it tonight. So I don't think it'll be being a roulette. So that's what happened, guys. Okay. I hope you guys understand. There's a reason for everything. And let me tell you something, okay? I did not tell anybody that story for sympathy. I do not want sympathy at all. Zero. Zero. Okay? I'm just telling you that because it could happen to you. Well, that's actually, he said he Everything was trying to build an army. Everything that could happen to me could happen to you watching out there, whoever's watching this. God bless you for watching. It could happen to your family. It could happen to your job. These people will take it all from you. Everything. They'll destroy it all. And if I hadn't came up with this and the patches and to keep going along with Jer I would have had to give up everything. And I probably, I might have been like, I might be, I don't know. I would have had to like, if my family wouldn't have helped me, I might have been on the street. Seriously. If my family, if I didn't have a family, I'd be on the street. All right. So they could do it to you. These people must be stopped permanently. All right. So I am sorry that I had to I had to explain that. It was very long. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I didn't mean to be cringe or anything, but I just a lot of people ask me the story. So that's the story. And um yeah. Okay, guys, so that's what happened. All right, so we can move on from that. Um uh, let me see here real quick. He he was a part of this whole boogalow thing. I don't even know what the hell it is. I don't know what these people are into these days. Miller appears to have launched his journey into extremism via boogalow. I looked up the boogalow movement. This is from the ADL.org. It's supposedly an anti-government extremist movement formed in 2019. In 2020, the boogalers increasingly engaged in real world activities as well as online activities showing our protests and rallies around gun rights pandemic restrictions police related killings they're also uh bugalo or boogalo whatever the hell it's pronounced is a slang reference for future civil war that's why they say that he was trying to like he wanted a race war to to start What's the purpose of this? Purpose of what? What's the purpose of you being here? What? What would you say? Um, we saw this too. So I know a lot of people. Yeah, we saw that. Let me show you this. He was actually, this was in 2018. He was on the One America News Network. He was on the news. A recent Antifa attack on Republicans as a hate crime and hope to prosecute those involved in the planned violence. One America's Christopher Carter spoke with a survivor of an attack and has more from New York. I'm here with Paul Miller, who was at the Metropolitan Republican Club the evening that Antifa disrupted <laughs> this the speech by Gavin McGinnis and the Proud Boys. Now, Paul, thank you so much. for. He just got arrested recently here in Fort Lauderdale. That's why I was talking about it. He's from New Jersey. He came to Fort Lauderdale in February, and a couple of days ago, he was arrested. Joining One American News. Thank you so much, Chris, for having me. You have a very unique story about what happened that night. Tell us about when you first went down to the club that night, what you saw. It was just a I don't know if he's claiming a non. Maybe That's 70, a good question. Maybe 70, Antifa members screaming and chanting. Some of those people are kind of nuts. Those are non-people. He was arrested for, it was like a an old charge, like a gun charge. It was unrelated to all this stuff online that you see now. Uh, we talked about it earlier. I'd have to play it and find it. And well, thing wild, somewhere. like animals out front of the Republican. I'll club. tell you. In a These second. protesters, did they have weapons on them? 
I think they did because they had the signs that they were chanting with, and the signs had like these big wood, like the the sign was on itself. It was like this big weapons wood. charges. It's dangerous. Like a two by four with something in it or something like that. Yes, and it, and then they had the sign on the top. You could have anything in there, a nail or something. You don't know. We know this was a popular event for conservatives. Gavin McGinnis, the founder of the Proud Boys, yes, was. was speaking. He draws a lot of controversy across the nation when he speaks. You went to the event and couldn't get in. You were turned away. What happened then? Uh, I was turned away from the event, and uh, they sold out. So me and a friend, we was uh, we was walking down the street and uh, coming up 84th Street when and when we saw Antifa coming towards us. And um, as they were coming towards us, I knew they were gonna that they were after us. I handed my phone to my friend. I told her to run. She was said, what about you? I said, don't worry about me, you run. And she took off running down the street. Five of them started to engage us. They tried to grab her. I grabbed her, pulled him back into the fight. I'm fighting with them. As I was fighting with them, I dropped my bag, and five more of them came. These are in black, oh, actually masks, have video. in black clothes. They look so scary, dangerous. Now, just so our viewers know, Paul, you have a background in self-defense, correct? Yes, I do. I studied and trained Muay Thai for eight years. That's the only reason that I look like this, and I'm not all in a hospital someplace. So tell me about what happened when you were in this fight then. Who came to your assistance? Who helped you? There were, as I ran away from them because there was too many, these two men who are heroes. Miller denied being a proud boy. He said he knows them, but he claimed he's not a part of them. And Pepe asked, uh, actually, Pepe, they, they banned you. They banned, they banned Pepe Le Pew. They banned, who else did they ban? I heard they're banning Miss Piggy now. They banned um, Dumbo. They banned um, Speedy Gonzalez. They're going down this whole list. All the cartoons are getting banned now. But I know it's unrelated, but I just thought, I don't know, it's on my mind. The cartoons, man. Um, so, okay, why was he arrested? He was arrested on a single charge of being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm dating back to 2018. Uh, he could face additional charges because authorities found a disassembled rifle when he was arrested in Fort Lauderdale. They found something. I think it was in his, like, washer. They found a gun in there. And I think his neighbors were aware of him. They were watching him, kind of. I think they're just using this charge just to get him locked up. I mean, they'll probably come up with other stuff. I think they just want to get him in jail. Maybe he's been getting a lot of attention. I don't know what else. Well, they said Pepe was, you know, Pepe is, oh, Dr. Seuss, too. They said Pepe was acting up. Pepe was touching the females too much and stuff. And, you know, Pepe was getting too excited. Miss Piggy, what I heard about Miss Piggy is because Miss Piggy was beating on, on the frog or something. Miss Piggy canceled. Let me see real quick. <laughs> this is a... Let me see. Uh, yeah, somebody. Um, let me see here. Let's pick it. Cancel, man. They're pissed off. Everybody's getting canceled now. Didn't Miss Piggy? What she? I don't know. What, what, she, what did she do that was wrong? She was flirtatious, or she beat? She beat the frog. Kermit the frog. Violence towards guests and a variety of Muppets, plus examples of sexual harassment towards Kermit the Frog. Let's see a little clip real quick. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> you are my peanut. I am your brittle. Mm. <laughs> Darling, you found me. Mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess as an adult, it is kind of weird looking at this back. It is kind of, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, clever. We will never part again. Oh. Ah, my little darling. It is love at first sight, is it not? Damn, it is kind of weird looking at it as an adult. I don't know. <laughs> He like blocked the way and everything. Clifford used steroids to grow and profited off of his illegal drug use. Cancel. <laughs> I guess they're trolling. Clifford. Yeah, they're gonna cancel all the cartoons. Um, yeah, I just I don't know, man. When people get this crazy with it, and there's a lot of people like this on either side, it just always makes you wonder, like, why? Like, why do these people they throw their whole life away and all that stuff? You become what you hate, too. 
I'm so angry and bitter. I mean. Oh, check this out. This is supposedly when this guy was like normal. Paul Miller before Gypsy Crusader. And then we'll get to some of the Omegle stuff. Because I think the Omegle... It's, it's kind of weird because it's like... <sighs> there's like some of the stuff, the non-racist stuff was kind of funny. Some of it. A little bit. I don't, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird mixed bag. You're going to have to see what I'm talking about. But check this out. This is from Real Zug, whoever that is. Sorry, guys, I have to do this. <laughs> oh, my God. CNN is fake news. They engaged in propaganda for two years against the American people. They need to be shut down. This place is a joke. And I'm here to tell you that you owe the American sorry. people an apology. Sorry. I'm sorry, officer. I will leave. I will leave right now. I will leave right now, officer. There's no problem. I don't want any trouble. I just have to say that on behalf of 63 million you Americans. Your, you said your peace. Thank you. Thank you, officer. His eyebrows, just something about his eyebrows, man. It's just too clean. CNN is fake news. Oh, you shit, guys spent propaganda <laughs> for two years against the president. You owe 63 so million Americans an apology. Apologize. Apologize for what you did. You lied. There was no collusion. Oh, it says InfoWars on his thing. Was he a part of InfoWars? That's the Alex Jones uh, company or whatever. I mean, he could have just put that sticker on there, but. As a propagandist, you're not journalists. This place should be shut down. On, you don't know what's going on, so why won't you show your face if you don't know what's going on? This is uh, Maxine. You don't know what's going on. What about all the women that are being trafficked through here? What about all the women? What about Epstein Island? The Maxine. What the hell's the lady's name? I'm just asking you questions, man. I'm just asking. This name, Maxwell. (laughs) Maxine. I just want to know about the human trafficking. I just want to know. I don't think I've ever heard this lady talk. I wonder how many kids she's or, or un, young underage people she's helped traffic with Epstein. And now somebody's there with a camera. You harassing me! Stop it! What about all the women? What about Epstein Island? Me. I'm not. I'm just asking you, you questions, man. Me. I'm just asking you, you questions. Me. I just want to know about. Man, who's ever pulled up on that woman like that? I just want to know about the human trafficking, man. I just want to know. I just want to know. Why don't you want to talk to a girl, man? Oh, damn. She said Jeffrey's innocent. Holding him down. Jehovah, that's me. Jeffrey's innocent. Wow. Ride or die. How long have you known Jeffrey? You've known him for 10 years? Yes. And there's never been anything for you? never saw anything suspicious? No. Never nothing? Never nothing. All right, guys. So we are here. We are outside Instagram Studios. I'm going to walk in. I already walked in early. I asked if they would let me take a tour. They said no. So let's go ask. <laughs> let's go ask. Do you guys want to talk about the, the what's it called, the banning of Republicans across the Internet? You guys don't want to talk about any of that? He you- walked He walked into the, I think this is the Instagram building or something. I didn't even know they had an Instagram building. You guys want to talk about any of that? We're violating everyone's First Amendment? <laughs> Do you guys care about that you're working for a company that's violating the First Amendment for a minute? I don't want any trouble. Go. Uh, I'll leave. Listen, I'll leave. I understand. I understand. I'll leave. I'll leave. No you problem. You're be No, you got That's I'll true. Leave. I'll leave. I, want, I don't want any trouble. I just, I want, true. I just wanted to ask my question. They're canceling all these cartoons, but they didn't cancel that Netflix series, right? That disturbing ass show. I mean, okay, we're not even going to talk about that. That's going to take me down a whole other loop because I, I feel like I, I get what she was trying to portray, but they didn't need to do that shit. It was way, way, way too much, but we'll leave that for another time. I already talked. And that's it. That's it. I don't want any trouble. You're right. You're right. right. I understand. So they. they, Two seconds. You're gonna be locked up. No, I understand. I'm leaving. I'm just asking. See, this is the same guy. This is the same guy. Yeah. So do you do you do you you agree with them banning the the First Amendment? Do you agree with it? No. Let's go. It's a fascist company, sir. You don't think so? Okay. You don't think so? It's you don't think that's right? Do you think it's right? Have a good night. Can I just ask? Do you don't think it's right? Have a good night. Nothing. Nothing? Really? Wow, guys. 
So that's Instagram for you. There's a bunch of people in there, and not one person would answer a question about the censorship that's going on against conservatives. They throw me out. I hope they don't give me a copyright for that. They won't. They won't. They don't want to be. I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. What is? I don't understand. They ban you. You come down. You try to talk to them. Nice, and they just don't want to tell you talk to you about nothing. I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. I don't know, man. Paul Miller is an openly racist alt-right activist and streamer who gained online notoriety with his streams, which he dresses up and acts as Joker on Omegle, often asking provocative and racist questions. In November 2020, clips of Gypsy Crusader streams received spread and became a viral subject of discussion. On March 2nd, 2021, Miller was arrested for a firearms possession. This is from uh, Know Your Meme. Um, and we went through through some of this. This one doesn't show the whole video. But. This clip here, let me see, is this a short one? So this one was like taken out of context, but because they didn't play the full clip, and this kid was actually trolling, supposedly, and this kid was actually anti LGB, whatever too. But check this out. Hi. What's wrong, kid? I just got bullied for being gay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's about to happen again. <laughs> so they cut that out, but supposedly that kid was a troll, too, whatever. I don't know. But let's get into it, man. You guys ready for this? Let's see what goes on oh, on Omegle. A gelato. I can tell you a gelato. Is it Botox? Maybe it's Botox. Yeah, something looks too clean about his face. Maybe he's doing Botox. So with this, I guess on Omegle you can pick topics, I guess, and you can put, and they both put the N with a hard R. I guess there's people on there that do that. It's not often that I am uh, speechless. <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? I have a husband and many children. God bless your family. God bless your family. God bless your husband. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you. And you're a beautiful sweetheart. We need more women like you. What you do for us, I hope we do for you. You have changed uh, our... Oh, Lord, a furry person. Finally, a dog furry. I've been seeing a lot of dino furries. What's up with that? Is it like a? Maybe. Is Could it be. like um? What's it called? Like a fad now with the dino thing? Uh, a bit younger furries uh, have dino mice because they can't really afford kids. How much is that one? Nine hundred dollars. That mask is nine hundred dollars. <laughs> Spivy. Oh my god! <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? 16. Who bought you that mask? Your mom and dad? You did? Would you get a job? Okay, that okay, that's cool. What did you can do you mind if I ask what you did? <laughs> All right. All right, man. Around, Be safe, man. Hey, listen. You get home says safe, huh? You 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 get your ass home safe, you hear me? I will. Love you, man. I will. Tell me why. I gotta know why. Go. Because, like, your videos are so funny. Like, especially that rhyme you made. Which one? The, oh, Riddler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Riddler. <laughs> what, what are you, going to college? Uh-huh. How old are you? I'm only 13. I love your videos. Oh, you're 13? Well, God bless you, man. I, I mean, look. I don't like you people. I really don't. I know. But, I, I mean... mean I'm not I'm not an evil man. You know what I mean? And I can appreciate it when people enjoy the content. And if they could get a laugh out of it, hey man, we're all in dark times too, you know? All right. All right, man. White How old are you guys? I'm 18. I'm 17. 18 and 17, huh? So young. 
The Joker. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone loves the Joker. I'm a big fan. Yes. I'm a bit. All the ladies love him. Harley gets very jealous. I love you. Yeah. I think I like you guys too. What uh? Yeah. What nationality are you two? I'm Mexican. Mexican and you? Wait. Yeah, Mexican. Mexicans. Mhm. Mm tacos, tacos and fritos. I got a lot of money. Tacos, tacos <laughs> and fritos. Yeah, yeah. Empanadas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I love your smile. Oh my gosh. How about a how about a how, how about a little white power for those Mexican girls, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I like you girls. You guys are funny. You're good sports. You're good sports. I like. Do you know that. how to? Do you know how to laugh like the Joker? I do know how to laugh like the Joker, but right now I'm not in character for the Joker. I'm I'm right wing Riddler right now. Who's that? I'm right wing. I'm Riddler. You know, Riddler. He's a B-lister compared to Joker, but uh, he has pretty good riddler, uh, riddles. You guys want to solve one? Yeah. Let's find out if your tiny Spanish women brains are clever enough. Okay. Us girls are kind of stupid. A little. Some some of you are a little, you know, on the dumber side. But hey, you're girls, and that's and that's how God made you. And I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Yeah. yeah. Riddle me this. I am loud and obnoxious. I like music that rhymes. I'm a fraction of the population, but I commit half the crimes. Who am I? Um, the Joker? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, who is the Nick? Boy, have you been a good boy this year? Yes? Look at these kids yes. that are on there. That's good. Did you listen to your family? Listen to your parents? Yes. Did you do all your schoolwork? Yes. That's good. When Christmas morning comes, you check under the tree and your presence will be there. <laughs> Merry Christmas. God bless you. God bless you. Look at the kids. Oh, a bunch of little kids on there. How old are you, kid? Sweetheart, are you a, are you a girl? Yeah. Sweet, what are you doing on here? It's a prank. A prank? What kind of prank? I don't know to see what, who's on here. Yeah, but there's a lot of weirdos on here, sweetheart. Okay. It's kind of funny, like the weirdo telling, "Yo, be careful with the weirdos." Yeah, I'll get off. Yeah, you should probably get off. Why don't you go do homework or something? No. I did my homework. Yeah. All right. Well, just get off of here because it's not good, huh? Okay. All right, sweetheart. Poor kid. You're a girl? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see, I can't see none of your hair. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. It's because I shaved my head for a kid who has cancer. Because what? I shaved my head for a kid who has cancer. Did you really? No way. Let me see. Why? Well, because to make him feel better. I mean, I mean that's sweet, but I mean, but your hair, <laughs> your hair is gone. It'll go back. How old are you? How old are you? I'm twelve. Twelve? Well, God bless you, sweetheart. That was that was very nice. That's very nice of you. I hope your friend gets better. All right. God, God bless you, sweetheart. <laughs> you. What the hell are you guys, furry people? So he was doing a lot of these videos too with his gun and stuff, you know. And I guess he wasn't supposed to have guns either, or whatever. Swear, furries are swag. They're pretty gay, if you ask me. I'm gay. Oh, are you guys gay? Yeah. You're a bunch of. Uh huh. How old are you? Forty nine. How old are you? Forty nine. No, how old are you really? Forty nine. Oh, come now. <laughs> what is it? Duckling syndrome. I was ugly when I was young, too. So are you calling me ugly? Kind of, but I mean, maybe you'll grow into yourself. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> How about you? Are you, selling, are you selling drugs today? No. No? Are we doing our homework today? Yeah. No. Yeah. No? No, no homework today? That's what surprised me the most out of all, I mean, 
yeah, this guy's off his rocker. But I'm like, damn, there's a lot of kids on this Omegle shit. Just no. being bad? It's, 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 it's school break. It's school break? School break. Yeah. All that right. Have, that means we have a few months off. All right. Well, you guys be careful, all right? Don't 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 be bad, all right? We're not bad. All right, guys. Be careful, all right? Poor kids. <laughs> Oh, so you have stuff like that where he's just, you know. Oh, check this out. This okay, this compilation. I mean, this is just the whole thing where he's being nice to Hi. Holy crap, that's hot. Oh god, I love you. Just check this out. You guys are a little too young for that. <laughs> but what do you think of the Jews? I don't really oh, okay. How old are you two? Okay. Oh, you're too young for this conversation. <laughs> All right, girls. That's really cool. Thank you. You want to get a picture? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. That looks scary. Yo, he's like really into that <laughs> role yes. of Joker. Other than like everybody else, Bye. Yeah, I know. Good night, girls. Be safe on here. You don't want to have children someday? You can still have children! You can still have children 100%. No, you can't. Yeah, you can all transferring. No, not that! That's the only thing that's, like, weird. Like, you see these moments with the kids. It's kind of like, it's, you know. But then you see all this other insanity, racist, all this crazy stuff, too. You know? Pop, I don't, I don't think he was really making money. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's people that were donating to him. Maybe he had some sort of subscription service. But I know. I think he was banned from a lot of the platforms. And so I think he was like on BitChute. I think he got banned off of Instagram. So he was on this app called Telegram. I've never downloaded it. The most startling thing to me was just how many kids are on this on this Omegle thing out of all of it. I mean, we already know there's people out there like this nuts. But the kids, man. And I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think in, in the chat? Is this just an act? It's just an act. He seems pretty serious to me as far as with the, the racist stuff. And maybe maybe that stuff, what happened with his parents, which he kind of caused that. I mean, I don't I don't agree with doxing, but I mean, he must have been doing some crazy shit, I guess, to piss off these people. And supposedly that was a turning point for him. I can't anymore. We got you know something. We got to take your right rights to vote away. We got to take it away. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. So wait a second. These uh, kids are so confused too. Though. What? What's your deal? Are you okay? I'm actually really good. I'm just in the dark because it's late and my light is really bright and it gives me migraines at night. Oh, are you? Oh, are you all right? No, I'm fine. Yeah. What's the migraines from? Um, I don't know. You don't know? I've just always had them. Ever really? Since I was little. Really? Did you ever go to like a doctor for him? Get, get checked out. Just think about who all these kids are talking to, also, you know, talking to. But this made me think a little bit of Sophie Reader, too, because I know Sophie was on the internet all the time in her room by herself. You know? Yeah, they tried to put me on meds, but it didn't work. They actually made them. Work. Yeah. You know what I hear helps? The uh, the marijuana, like the, the marijuana oil, like the oil, you know what I'm talking about? Like the, the yeah, THC oil. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that helps a lot. Yeah, it does. I just like uh, don't have any right now. That's why I'm not putting light on. I hear you, sweetheart. All right, babe, feel better, okay? Wayne Gacy. Wait, hello, I really like you. <laughs> well, I got. I'm tired. I'm. I got. What do you think of? New play Call of Duty. Do I play Call of Duty? No. I haven't played video games in some time now. I'm uh, I've been kind of busy with uh, work. I don't play much video games. 
No? Like, I have a Nintendo Switch. I've played plenty of games on there, but ever since I got this a couple days ago, that's all my mind has been on. That's awesome, man. That's really, really good. I'm proud of you. That, that's, you should be proud of yourself, man. A lot of kids don't do that, learning how to play an instrument nowadays. It's good for you. I prefer my favorite hobbies to do, play guitar, run cross-country and track, and be outside. God bless you, man. You give me hope for the future. You stay. You be safe, all right? Peace, man. Good kid. Too young. Oh, I saw you. This was interesting. I saw you like a couple weeks ago. Kid, how old are you? I'm 14. I took a screenshot of you. I showed it on my friend. What the fuck is that flag behind you, kid? <laughs> Mark yours. What? What's yours? Oh, uh, it's the American flag. Who who gave you that flag? Me. You got it? Yeah, I got it from Spencer's. It was who dollars. took you to Spencer's? I went to the mall. Who gave you money? Do you have a job? No. No. So, because you're only 14 years old. So, obviously, your mom and dad gave you money to buy that flag. <laughs> Uh huh. You're lying, and your mom and dad uh, allowed you to bring that flag and put it up. Well, yeah, they're not going to stop you from taking down a flag. Uh, then your parents are horrible people. They are abusing you. They are abusing you, man. Don't you understand? Oh, uh, what? What? I really like makeup. I like your makeup. Kid. Do you understand that? <sighs> Never mind. You Just your hair like that? listen, man. I'm listen. God, God bless you, man. I got it. Hold on. Hey, boy. <sighs> I mean, this guy's not really saying anything. So, what are you saying? His beliefs to me, he's not saying anything. Like cursing people out or whatever. What? Listen, I miss some stuff. Is there anything else? Where the Ran to millions are built on. Uh, let me show you this one here, too. I was so bad in school. I was fighting. I was bad. I didn't care. <clears throat> Nowadays, the kids, they're like, they, the, the teachers shove the shit down their throats and the kids are just like, yeah, okay, I'll deal with it. I don't know what happened. Kids kids my age, we didn't used to do that shit. That was, we were we would rebel like all the time. All the time. I never understood it. Like, if you're, they're teaching you about gay history in school, <laughs> fuck those people. Get up like a man. I'm not doing this. <laughs> and walk out. And what are they going to do? You're suspended. Suspend me. Go for it. You do that. Have some guts. You know, yes, is it scary? Is it ner- is it is it is it a little scary? Sure. Sure it is. But you got to be brave. We're living we're living in a scary times. You know what I mean? And we need people to to be you have to be braver than what you think you could be you got to step outside yourself you got to be willing to do that like if you're not willing to to take that leap you know what i mean of such a simple thing just to stand up for what you believe in and, it, and it's such a simple gesture you're not shooting anybody you're not blowing anybody up you're not starting a political party you're in school you don't like the lesson you don't like this propaganda i don't want to hear it Get up and leave. Done. Let him suspend you. Take it like a man and go to fuck home and be proud of yourself. Proud that you stood up for what you believed in when they were trying to force something on you that you didn't believe. What do you think of white power, man? (laughs) What do you think of white power? It's bullshit. It's nothing. Why not? 
because there's I'm so young. I haven't quite figured this out. Are you gay? Yes. What's your relationship like with your father? Pretty well. Pretty well? How old are you? 13. What happened, man? What do you mean? What happened? Tell me what happened. What brought you? What 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 turned you? There must oh, have been something like that happened. Coming out? What well, yeah, what made you gay? I don't know. I just remember rejecting guys and but who, love interest than a girl. But who put that um thought in your mind see let me let me let me let me let me explain to you see because you're young you're young okay i'm gonna try to save you a little i don't know if i can but i'll try you're young and impressionable you know what that means impressionable yes so you don't come up with these ideas on your own because you're young you don't have the life experience to make these decisions to be gay. This is a, you don't have the life experience to make that decision. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Somebody put that thought in your mind and then they, they gaslighted it and they, and they groomed it. Do you understand? To make you believe that this is a good idea for you. Do you follow what I'm saying? Because as a young person, it's very hard for for you to just come to that decision on your own. You you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like if you don't if you don't have the life experience, how can you just say, "Oh well, I'm gay." Well, how many girls have you been with? Well, none. Well, no, well how could you say that? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Explain himself. So. so what I think is. Maybe you're not gay. Oh, I'm Maybe sure. I'm sure they wanted to get him off. Someone made you think that you're gay. The gun charges was whatever. They just wanted to get him off. Get him into jail. Lock him up. I mean, it's, 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 that's not impossible, correct? He's the Joker. Yeah, correct. The real life Joker. I mean, let, so you're gonna you're gonna sit there as a 13 year old boy, hormones going all crazy, and you're gonna tell me you don't think women are beautiful? Come on. I mean, yes. They Come on. Agree. Women are beautiful. Come on, man. Let's be yeah, serious. So I don't feel that strong of the attraction. But have you ever that. but have you ever been with a woman? Like dated one? No, right? I'm gonna assume no. Well, how do you know you don't like it if you've never tried it? How do you know? How could you say that would be okay? That would be like that like I gave you a bologna sandwich, right? And you've been eating bologna sandwiches your entire life. And then I tell you, here's a steak, prime, prime rib. And you're like, I don't want this steak because it's not going to taste good. But you've never had it before. How do you know it's not good? Yes or no? Yes. I see that. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, maybe, brother, instead of going down that a, a very dark path of being gay. It's a very dark path, you know. Yeah, let me tell you. Being gay, there's no, there's no family. You can't have children. You can't have children. What, are you going to adopt somebody? You're going to adopt somebody else? Even if you want to have children, you still need a woman. You still need a woman. They had to take your sperm and they put it in some woman. Still need a woman. So you can't have a family with a gay guy, right? So you're just having meaningless sex with another person. <laughs> Jay, Jay. Everybody looks at you like you're a freak. Okay. You're ostracized. That would be kind of funny if you'd switch to him. Maybe you should try being gay. I mean, you haven't tried it. <laughs> from the society. The, all this acceptance bullshit is all bullshit. It's all a lie. Nobody likes gay people. Nobody. It's all a lie. People are going to treat you different. So it's a, it's a, it's a ugly, it's an ugly lifestyle. 
you know, and then it's just degenerate. You know, they have AIDS. Oh my God. All the sexual transmitted diseases they get, they get sick, oh, man. they get cancer, they die early. They want to chop off their dicks. They're fun. They're insane. <laughs> you don't seem like that. You seem like a reasonable kid. <laughs> the whole chopping off the their dicks shit just kind of made me laugh. Makes me think of JLP. But I mean, damn, man, there's all these kids on there. I mean, he said himself impressionable. <sighs> this guy. I mean, I don't know. And this is just me looking at it as the first time I've ever watched him, which is tonight. Never heard about him before. This guy lost himself with all the racism, I think. He could have probably kept going all right. I did not stop dropping all these words and stuff. I don't know. Seem like you, you say you have a good relationship with your dad, right? Yeah. You think your dad wants you to be gay? I think he'd be happy with no what I choose now. No, no, don't be stupid. Your father, he might say that to you because you know it's uh, the political correct thing to say. But any real father, any real father, is going to want his son to have children. So he could be a grandfather. And so he could pick up those children and pick up and love them and hug them and say, yo, oh my God, my son, he look what you made. You made this. Look what you made. You know how beautiful that is? Beautiful. Your, your father, he's bouncing your children on his laps like this. You know, your wife is there. You're there. It's, that's beautiful. You can't have that being gay. You can't have that. You'll never have that being gay. And I want you to think about that, man. I want you to really think about it. Think about your father and his name stopping with you. Imagine that. Imagine mm. your father, his father before him, his father before that. Mm. Right? You make one decision because you want to be gay and all that stops. It just cuts. Boom, cuts with you, done. You're dead. It's like you just died. Like, you follow what I'm saying? It's weird, man. It's weird. I, I've I've had that thought as far as, like, the last name carrying on and stuff like that. You know, I have a daughter, and so she gets married or whatever. You know, if she changes her name, I mean, I mean, it's pretty much it. The name dies right there, my last name, as far as my father and then me. And then that's it, unless I have a boy. So I mean, it's an it's an interesting. I mean, I've had thoughts like that, but like the lineage and all that stuff. Um, this guy just this guy lost himself with all the crazy shit. He must have he, he must have really became very hateful and angry. I guess at some point, maybe the whole situation where he got doxxed made him super bitter, which is not excuse excusable, not excusing at all. But he probably would have been fine had he not gotten down this crazy path. Because you just become lost once you're that, you know, angry and hateful. Damn. Doesn't want to carry on his dad's DNA. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't share it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you don't want that. Man. You don't want that. Your father doesn't want that. Yeah, no, I, I you hear me? I agree with that too, Betty. I'm totally on board with that shit. Like they're doing too much with these kids. I mean, you, you saw the one kid with the poster on his on his wall, and these two little girls thinking that a woman and a woman can create a child. No, no, you can't. But they were serious. They really thought that. And I guess it's because the the crazy messages these people are putting. To the kids, I really don't think kids should be sexualized at all. It's, it's, it's insane. I'm totally against the hormones too. They want to put kids on hormones with the gender dysphoria stuff. Which I read a study one time. My bad. I'm sorry, bro. I can blur it out after. I didn't mean to click on it. <laughs> um, which I hear that a lot of the gender dysphoria most most people. There was an actual scientific study I read a long time ago, but they outgrow it. I don't know. 
All right, man. I love you, brother. You be safe, all right? Think about it. Sweet kid. I hope he thinks about it. I hope he thinks about it. I would... I think that's all the videos. I, I would like to pull up another video of him on this Omegle thing. The problem is, I don't know what's censored. And I don't know what's not censored. And so I don't want to bother. Like, I don't want to upset people if they start hearing these words coming out. Omegle and drunk 2020 parenting in a nutshell. Let's take a look at this. Okay, let's let's take a look at this. Let's, take a look, let's see what this is here. Oh yeah, maybe one day we can talk about that the whole gender stuff. I mean, it's very, it's a very touchy, sensitive. You know, it's very people get very upset and stuff. And, um, and I mean, this guy, the whole situation of his story, that whole thing that happened, and being docs and these people coming for his parents and stuff, and he describes that as the turning moment for him. Whether I don't know whether it's true or not, we don't know really. But he describes it as a turning moment for him, and then now being arrested for this charge from like years ago for this this gun thing. It's I guess it's made things worse for him. Now he really has the notoriety, you know. Um, I should say infamous, infamous whatever fame, and the only thing people will ever focus on. It's going to be just this stuff. I mean, I don't think... How do you ever recover from that, too? Like, once this is out, all these videos for you online like this, I mean, dropping the M-bomb, F you guys, I hit all you. I mean, everybody, you know, Jewish people, black people, Latino, Hispanic, whatever the... Who knows? Because a lot of us are... A lot of people consider me black or Latino. I don't care what people consider me, but... And cancel culture, which I don't support cancel culture. But I think what happens is, is you eventually you kind of become what you hate. I think you you go down this this hole of just once you get so angry and bitter. If you watch his streams, you would always see them calling him an Indian or Turk. I think the Antifa. I don't like Antifa either. I think they're nuts. I've never liked Antifa. Antifa's crazy. Antifa. Um, there was one video I did. These people almost burned some child alive. They, I don't know why these parents brought their kid to this like protest thing. And these people threw some sort of incendiary device. And it literally lit up next to this child that was out there. I was like, oh, these people are nuts. I remember when I made that video and I was talking about it, YouTube took it down and I had to like re-upload it or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, you can you can kind of see how crazy it's getting with all this cartoon crap, the insanity, and and eventually this is what I believe too. Eventually, these people will eat themselves. The crazy cancel culture. Eventually, they're going to start getting their own people and canceling each other. Antifa is some group anti anti fascist or whatever the hell they are. I don't even know. A group of crazy people that hide their faces. Do a bunch of stuff, whatever they do. You know, <laughs> whatever if I it is they do. Scary, I'd be really hot, but I don't care enough to do so. How old are you? I'm 14. Wait, she's drinking? Cough drop got stuck in my mouth. This should be the real conversation of tonight. Forget about this guy. The kid's an omegle. That should be the real conversation of what the heck is going on. You know, if I put on this girl, I'd be really hot, but I don't care enough to do so. How old are you? I'm 14. Are you are you drunk? Yeah. Where are your parents? <laughs> uh, in the other room. In the other room. Do they know that you're drinking? Why are you drinking? <laughs> I had a rough day. I'm sick. What's okay. wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm, I'm sick. What's wrong? What are you sick? Are you not feeling well? Or are you? I don't know, but I'm sick. I feel like shit, and so. Why do you feel like? <laughs> there must be a deeper problem. There must be a deeper sick. problem, no? No, I'm sick. Like, like, like ill. Oh, like uh, what do you got? A cold? 
Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, I don't know. Well, maybe you should get some medicine. Uh, maybe the, I don't think the drinking is good for you. No. Know? Damn, she just she right, good. She's chugging. I, mean, I think I don't think it's good for you. You know, you're kind of young. You know, it's not. It's uh, you don't need it. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, pr- I'll pray for you, sweetheart. All right. Don't put the bottle down, though. Seriously, it's not good for you. All right. All right. It's kids, man. Kids, kids don't care. Kids these days don't care, man. Doing all kinds of stuff right in the next room. Some of you guys need to go to the next room right now and check on your kid. <laughs> kids are wilding. Shut up. Don't talk. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Don't talk to kids. Some of them need fucking help, asshole. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. You know something? Hold on. Oh, shit. It's like he's talking to us. Hold on. Let, let, let me just leave oh, the shit. poor kids that are fucking lost, okay, and are so, they don't know what the fuck is going on in the world. They're so lost, dude. I feel bad for some of these kids. I don't know. Like, I'm not, I know I can't help them, but if I could at least try, damn, like. Fucking bothers me, man. These fucking some of these kids, dude. They, that poor girl. Why was she drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, oh shit, he's talking she's to us. Fourteen years old. You talking to the chat right now? You know what I mean? She's a young kid. <laughs> drinking for what? What could she possibly? What's so wrong? I would. I would have loved to know what was wrong. That's what I was trying to ask. I wanted to know what was wrong. It's fucking crazy, man. God help him. I guess I wonder if he's like streaming or God something. God help him. Was he streaming in this thing? All we can do is pray for them. And the thing is, too, does he is he does he genuinely care for the kids, or is this just like a an act, or does he care about them, or is this like a a hero complex thing? I don't know. Maybe he, he maybe he cares about him. I don't know. Or maybe he sees himself in some of these kids. Let 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 them let the weirdos talk. Just let it leave them. Alone. Who cares? Who cares, man? It's to the point where it's just like they can't do anything. They just talk. They're just mad. Yeah, it's kind of black pilled. It's very sad. Holy shit! <laughs> what was that little kid? What was that? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Shit! Oh, what was that? Yeah, it's kind of black pilled. It's a- oh, I don't know what that is. That flirt, that furry thing, is where those people are into like animals and stuff. Like they dress up as cartoon or, or animals. They put costumes on. Do they have like sex and stuff? What's up with the, the animal furry people? They just put on things, and it's like a fantasy or something for them. Is a furry is does a furry have to be sexual or is it can it also just be non sexual? What are the furry people? Oh, my, oh okay, maybe I just took it too far. There's regular furry people too. I thought it was like just crazy people like having sex in costumes or something. I guess not. Gypsy is actually a really nice guy as long as you're white and straight. <laughs> Oh my god, this shit is He might be racist, but he cares for children. Oh my god. Wow. I wonder if there's any other. Let me see if I can find another one. Uh, surprising, man. Keep the kids off Omegle, I guess. Alien Ant Fire. Wow. I love that, Ben. What was that? That movie, the movie song, I think. I think I like. I think that was the one song I like from them Alien Ant. 
movies or something. So, oh, they got smooth, smooth criminal and uh, movies. I like those songs. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. I mean, we'll just call it Nate. Maybe we'll maybe we'll go on Discord and chat up for a little bit. It's already almost eleven o'clock. Oh wow! Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> what is this, real quick? It's like it's like hi. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? <laughs> Jesus go Christ! Go get your pick, mom, dad. <laughs> Mom, dad. No, 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 stop. Mom and dad. Oh, he's screaming Get out so they can hear here, him. Guys, 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 listen to me right now. Seriously, you need to get off of here right now. Shut this Why? off immediately. Shut it off. Why? Because, Why? guys, it's dangerous on here. There's weird people on here, guys. Get off of here. Seriously. Where are we your could parents? Do that. We could do uh, the Where voice are your chat. parents, dude? Oh shit. Go get your parents. Fresh. Guys. Seriously, We're not telling there's you. no reason for you guys to be on here. Mm. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> I knew these kids were crazy. I keep telling people every time I go out with my daughter, some of these kids are wild. Oh, so he's on some sort yeah, of live chat. Bitwave. I don't know what that is. So he he's on a stream thing. I, I can't. I can't. What do you guys think? Is he really bothered or is it an act? I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I just lost the whole. I can't even be funny now. I, I can't. I can't be funny after seeing that. I can't. Where the fuck are their parents? Oh, he's on. How could you allow your child to sit there on this thing like that? Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, the kid gave a middle finger. Fuck. Paul Miller. Should I keep going? I'm like angry now, though. Oh, shit. I'm like pissed off. Hold on. Oh, God damn it, man. He's got some good videos. Wafu Master. He has all the good uploads, I think. (sighs) Son of a bitch. All right. Is that it? All right. Um, do you guys want me to keep going? Oh, we already got the warning here. Maybe inappropriate. What happened with this video? I don't know why, but I kind of like and hate this guy at the same time. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Yep. Paul Miller, you fucking racist piece of shit. Fuck you. Okay. We got. Is that it? Fuck you, dude. My fucking grandfather was Jewish. Good. Is he dead? Yeah, he fucking died. Maybe, maybe <coughs> you I should should... think it's gonna happen again. Maybe you should join him. Fuck you, you piece of shit. The Holocaust yep. didn't happen, you Jew fuck. Yes, it did. My fucking oh, grandfather God, died. One of those Holocaust. people. Good. He maybe got oh, fucking Lord. masturbated to death. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go. You, that was pretty. All right, you got me. You got me. You got me. That was good. You got me. Someone, yes. Yes. Someone finally got me. Dude, I've been on here for two hours. And I run into you. My fucking breath for a second. I was like. Oh. I'm sorry, man. I was just about to go off on you, too. I don't know. I guess that's enough. But I don't know, just weird. I guess I don't know. You know, I was, I was just sitting the other day or 
yesterday or today, I think it was yesterday, and the guy came on my little on my phone on my app, and I was like, Who is this guy? I never heard of him. And then coming to find out he was arrested locally, and they were saying all this stuff about um like a white supremacist kind of thing. But uh there was this kind of whole history about him, and I was like, Let me let me see what this is about. And I don't know. One thing's for sure though. I don't know that he's going to come back from this, though, especially now being locked up. And they'll probably find more charges and supposedly he wanted to start a, a race war and all this crazy stuff. So I don't know, man. And he's been banned everywhere, seems like. Oh, yo, can we look at this real quick? Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> you know what happens to you know, all these different little sectors and stuff? Oh, somebody said, is he white? Yo, to me, he, I, that's what I was I was thinking the same thing, Betty. I was like, he kind of doesn't look fully white to me. He looks like he's mixed with something. Betty said, is he white? I thought he was like Spanish, maybe Middle Eastern. I, to me, he looked like he was a mix of something, too. That's what I was thinking. I was like, is he even like white? Like fully white? Oh, let me pull up this. Uh, I thought this was really funny. Alex Jones QAnon thing. It's hilarious. But I, I, well, what I was going to say too, I think when people, hopefully I can find this. When people get into this whole thing of sectors and groups, or maybe you can call it tribalism, and these people feel like they're the world is against them. I think eventually they start to lash out, like violence or whatever. I and mean, you can look at um, how people hate cops. You feel like you're removed from the world, society. Like everybody hates you, kind of puts you in a corner, which everybody doesn't. I don't even know if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, here we go. This clip was funny as hell. <laughs> I actually didn't know how crazy QAnon was until a friend kind of put me onto it. He's partly Indian. Really? What? <laughs> what? Is this like a whole troll? Is he putting on a troll act? They don't accept them as white. The Yankee Angloids in the USA, that is. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I wonder if his own peers would accept him in this movement. You know? He he went too far. You know, he, he kind of reminds me too of like um I don't really like this guy, but he has the clip. Kyle Kalinsky. I watch David Pakman. I don't like the guy. I, I don't like his politics at all, but I just watch it to be informed of the other side and some of the hypocrisies. So I, um, I watch. That's the only reason I sometimes watch David Packman, but he's so disingenuous, in my opinion, completely disingenuous. But um, yeah, let me play this. Obviously, he's done with them. There. This is fascinating. Now, broke all that. We Alex Jones surprised everybody this week when he flipped on QAnon. Broke all that. We know that. I'm saying Q tells us stuff in all of its lies, is what I'm saying. You keep, you keep interrupting me. Because you're lying. <laughs> because you're full of shit. That's why. Because every god thing, goddamn thing out of you people's mouths doesn't come true. And it's always, oh, there's energy. And, oh, now we're done with Trump. You said he was the Messiah. You said he was invincible. You said it was all over. They were all going to get Mo. Now, oh, he's part of a larger thing of Q. I will not suffer your Q people after this. I knew what you were day one. I don't know what you are now, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all these witches and warlocks <laughs> and pumpkin popsums and everything. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Bye bye, Q. I can't talk to you anymore. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. QAnon lost Alex Jones. He apparently previously had gone back, forth, back, forth a few times. Given them some. I don't know if he was being serious though, or he was just trolling the person on the. I don't know. It seems like somebody might have called him and it was like a crazy call. He's just done with these people. Um, 
There was something else I was thinking of. Damn, I forgot what I was thinking of. Something I had in my mind. Oh, oh, oh. What I wanted to ask you guys, too, another real quick thing. How do you guys feel about the vaccine, man? The vaccine. <laughs> we'll end off on this. This is a, a, a sad story, but I just wanted to kind of bring up the topic of the vaccine real quick. You're not allowed to talk about that either. Um, Alex never agreed with Q. Okay. I didn't think so. I know they probably attached him to that. I used to like watching Alex. A lot of the stuff he said, I believe, has come true. For the most part, I mean, I think he was inaccurate in some of the things, but they just take these. I used to watch his show back in the day. I think now you just have to go to his website. Medical Utah Examiner says 39-year-old mom's death four days after taking COVID vaccine is temporarily related. What the hell does that mean? I noticed they find all these little wordings and excuses when it's a vaccine death. Like, oh, we have to further investigate. We're not too sure. And then you never hear it about it about it again. But she died after taking her second dose, four days after taking her second dose uh, of the COVID vaccine. They believe her death may be directly related, connected to the vaccine. But the medical experts are uh, cautioning the public not to jump to conclusions until all the facts are collected. So I believe she was a surgical tech from what I read earlier. Uh, she she has a child. She has a daughter. Um, supposedly no um, underlying conditions. There's no evidence that COVID-19 vaccines have caused any deaths in Utah. Reports of adverse reactions and death following the vaccination do not necessarily mean the vaccine caused the... You know what's funny about that, too, is that anytime somebody would test it positive, they would always say, oh, it's, it's a COVID death regardless of like any other health condition that they have but when it's to the vaccine oh well we're not sure we have to fact check and double check or whatever but all the other deaths throughout the entire year it's covid heart attacks and everything else stop it's covid <laughs> he's racist he's racist Me, I'm not going to. I'm taking my time right now. I'll probably eventually uh, maybe get it one day sometime in the future. I'm not rushing to get it, man. What I, The best thing I can do right now is try to lose some weight because I think there was a CDC study that, that most of the people that were hospitalized were people that were obese. CDC, COVID, obesity, something like that. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here's the article. Even though these magazines were telling you to be overweight and to be obese because it's healthy and it's good for you. And so they had all these obese people on the magazines and saying that it's healthy. Or if you guys remember that. My bad. CDC study finds that 78% of people who were hospitalized for COVID were overweight or obese. Best thing you can do right now, whether you plan on getting the vaccine or not, is start eating healthy. Start exercising. So go for some jogs. Yeah, no, yeah, for totally. It's an experimental solution that you have to sign consent and waiver to take it. I know people in the medical field that haven't taken it, but I know other people that have. And they make a point to get on Facebook and do a video of them taking the vaccine. Oh, see, I'm fine. Oh, Johnson and Johnson. I looked into them, and Johnson and Johnson one looks like the cleanest one. Uh, the Johnson and Johnson one, I think, is doesn't use RNA, right? I think Johnson and Johnson vaccine. The other ones use RNA, which goes into I don't know the whole thing. Johnson and Johnson. And I noticed too, it's like they don't really want you talking about the efficacy rates of Johnson and Johnson. 
because it has lower efficacy rates. The, the plus side about the Johnson and Johnson is just one shot, all right. So that, that's good, I guess. Why would they give it to older people when children are the future? Uh, I think because of what somebody else said, Pepe, it's like experimental. The vaccines aren't usually done made in a year. I think it's usually like years and years of process and trials and all that stuff. This thing was just fast track. Um, I think maybe that's why. Also, kids are less susceptible, I think, to uh, COVID, even though I've seen some horrible stories, man. There was this one story. I think I emailed it to myself because I thought I was going to, I was thinking of doing a video on it. This kid had to get, um, this baby had to get his, I think his arms. Let me see here. Here we go. It's right here. Loses both hands and legs as doctors attempt to save his life from the deadly virus. 10 year old boy from Michigan. He tested positive for COVID-19. He didn't even have one single symptom. His mother said suddenly he started getting severe headaches and was admitted to the hospital with a temperature of 103. The little boy was diagnosed with multi-symptom inflammatory syndrome known as MISCA. It's a rare overactive immune response that leads to inflammation of various body parts, including the heart, lungs, kidney, brain, skin, eyes, and gastrointestinal organs. Can I read the full story? I heard about this and I was like, damn, man. Like, I would just, that would kill me just to your child to like know. Like, how do you even explain that or process that? Like, to the, like, So he had to be put on a ventilator as the rest of his organs were shutting down, causing his heart to overwork. To help his heart function, the 10-year-old had to be put on dialysis and hooked up to an ECMO machine. I think ECMO was when it's something to do with the heart. I, I know there's been kids that were born with their hearts, I think, outside of their chest. Let's see if I can find the ECMO machine. Oh, it's definitely for the heart. I guess it depends on the situation. Heart. Okay, it doesn't have to be that their heart's outside of their body though i have seen that or it's like an open thing in their body but i guess it's supposed to assist with the for the heart oh man yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where at in Michigan? I never saw. In... Yeah, I got a pop up for this today. Um, let me see if it says where. That doesn't specify where. It just says Michigan. His uh, his name is Deshaun. Life will never be the same for Deshaun. God, man, that's freaking uh. They have a GoFundMe, but they didn't link it on the article. So I don't know. If I do a video, I'll see if I can find a link for that. Uh, yeah, I can't even imagine, man. His right leg was amputated January 15, 2021. And by February 22nd, the decision was made to amputate both extremities and his remaining legs and his hands became damaged due to lack of blood following his first amputation. Wow, that's incredible, man. Jesus, 10 year old boy, wow, that's crazy, man, that's crazy. I don't know why I was thinking 10 month, 
10 year old my god how do you how do you even begin to like tell that to your child like once they come to or explain it or anything it's got to be such a horrible feeling and then especially as a parent where you just can't do nothing you're just like helpless god i don't even want to think about that shit <clears throat> anyway but i guess we'll call damn it's almost been two hours but uh yo i appreciate you guys coming through tonight uh kind of an off topic you know i've been doing a lot of the missing person stuff lately and i just began let me cover something different and this is i guess like a controversial topic or whatever um I don't know. It's just crazy to see how how people can pitfall. You know, uh, I was thinking too about Andrew Cuomo, the cancel culture. How I say they they eat themselves sometimes. Now they're coming to eat him. It was at the top. Didn't he get like uh, some sort of Andrew Cuomo? Didn't he win some sort of award or nominated for something? I was putting on presentations. I remember when the whole COVID thing started. And I was working from home at the time. And I put him up on YouTube. I was like, damn, he has a presentation. He was just he just sounded nice. He just sounded good. He had all these little um presentations and stuff. Emmy winner Cuomo. <laughs> he had all these presentations and stuff. It's like all this nice stuff. I'm like, damn. You and he was doing so good that people thought um he was good. They were asking if you're gonna run for president. I think he even released the book. And then now you have all these women. I think there's six last I heard. The last allegation was pretty damning because this one woman was actually claiming that he did something. I haven't like fully immersed myself and read the articles, but from the other stories, it's kind of like, I don't know, some woman said that he hugged her like 20 years ago. I was like, God damn, a hug? But she said it was like inappropriate because... I guess it was like an affectionate hug or something. And so I was like, damn, 20 years for a hug 20 years ago? Like, Jesus Christ. You know? Uh, Any updates on the boys and others? No, man. I mean, with the boys, I saw that um, they were searching in Bakersfield. A couple of searches. Um, I haven't really seen anything else besides that. The police chief did an interview recently. I didn't even watch the whole interview, but they are putting up um, billboards. From what I see, they are doing billboards. And with that, I would, I would, I guess, I would say check out the local YouTubers that are covering that story. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of drama with that whole situation. <laughs> Crazy drama. So, hey, Gene, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. We're about to end here. A hug and call her baby. Yeah, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. The chat was pretty nice, too. This was kind of a... Uh, it, I mean, the thing is, it's a controversial topic, but, like, I, for the most part, people are in, in agreement. It's like, you went over the top, you did too much. Oh, and I was going to say that this guy reminds, he reminded me of like those back in the day, a long, long time ago when we were gaming. And you're in the live, like you're playing Call of Duty or you're in these lobbies. And back then, people would call you the N word or the, or call you like a spick or, or, or the derogatory, or any derogatory name that they can think of, they would call you in hopes to get a rise out of you. And so back then, it was almost even funny sometimes. Back then, you're just going back and forth. You almost got so used to it, which I I guess is not a good thing, but you would almost get so used to it. That was just a part of the online trolling, somebody trying to get a reaction out of you type of thing. And so it's almost kind of cringe. So, I mean, I, you know, I saw his videos tonight. I was like, he kind of reminded me of back in the day, these people just trying to get a reaction out of you. But you, I mean, you're not you're not going to grow like that. You're not going to build a brand like that. I'm not saying you have to be PC or cave in, but you're wilding out. 
the way he was, it's going to catch up to you, you know? Pepe, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. And if the people that have been following me for a long time, yeah, you guys know 2020 was crazy. I definitely wasn't in support of all the madness and burning down the cities and all this nut stuff these people were doing, you know, the entire time. But uh, I mean, wrong is wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Coco. Oh, no problem, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, though. Super job, Mel. Couldn't work the cash app, so YouTube got a cut. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, yeah, Layla. Oh, my God. I'm still waiting on the Shannon Ryan court thing. Well, they've, they've postponed it multiple times. Soldier Girl. Thank you, Soldier Girl, for the super uh, super chat, the super sticker. Let me take a look real quick, and uh, I can go watch it myself. Yo, and if your comments didn't show up, Carl said F him. He was always racist. He was talking about this guy. So, yeah, some people, people, people don't buy it as far as they feel he was always like that. If you start cursing, like if you get too vulgar, I have the filters on. So YouTube might block your comment. So just so you know, you might have to use asterisk or something to stop it. But, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining. And, uh, Take care and all that good stuff. Peace. I feel like I keep talking, but no. Peace. Good night. Thank you, guys.